Hey there and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Target Attitude. Absent my professor of knives and all things sharp. Sit on back, grab your pens and paper, class is about to begin. Today we're taking a look at something that um, is a little controversial. You know, kind of contentious. Are knives weapons or are they tools? Which are they? <laughs> It's kind of an interesting question, um, and especially in this day and age, it's actually a, a good question. And we'll try to take a look at it. Not sure some of you will like my answer, but we'll take a look at it. First, let's get the syllabus work out of the way, shall we? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here on Mondays, we do Knife Basics, which you really need to know. Um... Mainly, this is aimed at those who are new to the world of knives and want to understand better what we're talking about when knife collectors such as myself, knife lovers at uh, pages like All Knives Matter, Never Enough Knives, that sort of thing, start in on their favorite hobby and f favorite thing. On Fridays, we do knife reviews. Um, occasionally, I'll review some piece of camping gear or survival gear, you know. Uh, cooking equipment, uh, lights, compasses, that sort of thing, but mainly knives. For those of you who have been with us for a while, welcome on back. I'm glad to see you again. Got just one question for you, and yes, you do know what it is. Have you subscribed yet? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to break you or argue with you. I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. I mean, it's so easy. Just hit that button right down there that says subscribe. Then hit the bell next to it. That way you get notified every time we put up a neat new video. Easy enough, and it uh, helps both of us out. Helps you out because you don't miss any of my videos. Helps me out because, let's be honest, the more subscribers I have, the easier it is to get all these neat new things to do videos about. But enough of the rambling. Back to the question I asked. Are knives weapons or are they tools? Most of us who are knives lovers are going to say that they are tools. Um, but are they or aren't they? Interesting question. So let's start by looking at just what the definition of a tool or what a knife is or what a weapon is. Now, I didn't look up definition of tool, I should have. So let's look that up. First, and okay, straight off from the Oxford Dictionary, a device or implement, especially one held in the hand, used to carry out a particular function. Um, okay, if you go down to Merriam Webster, it's a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, yeah. Um, if you're willing wood, this is the tool you're going to want to reach for, or one like, somewhat like it. Um, you're going to need a knife to hmm, shape it. If you're working in the wood shop and you need to do a little bit of smoothing of a uh, odd corner or something. Sometimes a plane, which is what you normally use to smooth it with, isn't going to fit into that corner. You reach for a knife or a chisel. Uh, if you're like me, probably a knife. If you're cutting up meat, you got to have a knife. Uh, so, if you're opening up a box, yeah, you can use a uh, pair of scissors but it's not going to be very effective the most effective way of doing it is to reach for a box cutter which is a type of knife or your pocket knife um if you're cutting uh, a length of rope you get a knife 
definitely working as a tool there. But is that enough? Let's take a look at the definition of a weapon. Um, where do they have that? Come on. That's not it. Let's see, I just had it here. There we go. So, going by the definition of the from the Oxford Dictionary. Weapon. A thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage. Okay, that makes sense. Marion Webster. Something such as a club, knife, or gun used to injure, defeat, or destroy. Um, Cambridge definition. An object used in fighting or war, such as a gun or bomb, or something used against something, or used against someone. Excuse me. Okay. Only one of those definitions specifically mention a knife. So, something used to injure or destroy your opponent. Well, you can definitely injure your opponent with a knife, even a small one like this. But, let's be honest, um, knife fighting is not as easy as the movies would have you make it out to be. Um, if you're not trained, there's a very good chance you're going to get hurt worse trying to defend yourself with a knife than if you use a club or a stick or a gun. And there's no doubt about it, a gun is a weapon. It's just how good are you excuse me, at shooting. So, what is a knife? Is it a tool or weapon? Well, to my mind, a lot of it depends on the knife, which is where I get in trouble with some people. A traditional pocket knife like this one. This one, by the way, is a Frontier, an old one, and uh, just recently found it in an old toolbox of my dad's in the garage where it had been sitting buried under stuff for almost 20 years. So it needs to be cleaned up a lot, but, okay. You can't open this fast. I mean, it's got lots of nice blades that once it's cleaned up is going to do a lot of good work. Um, and these blades are specifically designed for special jobs. But if you can't open it that fast, it's not going to do you much good as a weapon. Not unless you open it before you even get to the point. This one, this one is a CRKT Caligo, and it's one that was specifically released for Blade Show. So I don't use this one very often, but nice. It, uh, you can open it fast, so yeah, you could use it as a weapon, but that short blade is not all that effective at fighting or doing damage to your opponent. Yeah, okay, I'll admit, um, if you stab someone in the back, the aorta is only about an inch and a half to two inches in, depending on size of person. But you're going to have to go around the spine to get to the aorta. Um, the kidneys are only an inch to an inch and a half deep. But they're right protected by the lower ribs. So you're going to have to get around the ribs to get to them. Yeah, it's just... 
This, in my opinion, is a tool, pure and simple. Can't really be used for too much more. Then you get something like an old style Italian stiletto switchblade. That blade is almost four inches long, extremely thin. This thing would is actually very good at opening boxes and that sort of thing. I could could and have used this to flay fish. Um, I'm allergic to fish, so I don't can't eat it. But for my wife or my daughter, um, when we're out in the field, this is actually a very good uh, substitute for a fillet knife. Of course, since it is an automatic knife and or switchblade. There are a lot of uh, various laws regarding its use. <clears throat> Contrary to popular belief, federal law does not make it illegal to own. What federal law does do is make it illegal to sell it across state lines. So, since I'm located here in South Carolina, if you live in, say, Chicago, except under very defined circumstances, such as you're either a cop or buying for a cop or a member of the military or buying for a member of the military, I can't sell it to you. Now, if you come down here to South Carolina, I could sell you an automatic knife like this and you could take it back up with you. Um, not all automatic knives, though, quite fit that. Uh, let's see here. Where did I put it? I've got it here somewhere, I know. Okay. My wife must have put it away. Um, Kershaw Launch is an automatic knife, technically a switchblade. But instead of the stiletto-style blade, it's got a blade much closer to this. So, you've got the advantages of automatic opening as with the you know, tiny stiletto I just showed you. But you've got a more tool-based blade like this one. You've got a blade designed to do work, not designed for killing. How about sheath knives? There we're starting to get into some questions. Okay. This one. Spartan Blade Demesis. Demesis, excuse me. Beautiful knife. Very comfortable in the hand. But this is definitely designed for hunting and camping, bushcraft, that sort of thing. I mean, yeah, you could use it for fighting if you needed to. It handles nicely. But there's no guard on it. When you get into a knife fight, there's nothing to protect your fingers. The blade's not exactly the perfect shape for fighting. Definitely, in my opinion, a tool. You can't... You could use it as a weapon. But in my opinion, it was designed as a tool. You get something like this one. This one is... Let me double check. Yeah. This is a blackjack. This is much closer to what I'd want for fighting. It does have a guard on it to protect your hand. And it's smooth. It's got a lanyard, which means 
you know what? That lanyard is actually better for camp work. So this one is entirely going to depend on what use you're going to put it to. Personally, I'd use this mainly for camping and hunting. I just... But you could argue that this one is a weapon. I still refer to it as a tool. I still think of it as a tool. But could be argued. Now you get to something like this. This is from Colt. And let me double check. Um, yeah, this is the Junger Jump. Jungle Jumper. Not a very particularly effective uh, guard on it. But it will stop your hand from riding up on the blade. It will give you some minimal protection. And that blade it almost qualifies as a short sword. It's got a fuller on one side, not the other. Leather wrapped handle. A space for a lanyard and a skull breaker type pommel. Beautiful as this blade is, and as much as I love it, it's getting awfully hard to argue that this one is not a weapon. I mean, it's almost too big to be used in the field. It's not yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there very quickly. Then we have... This one, you've seen this before, I made it. I love this. I think I did a really nice job on it. It's uh, based on a Scottish Dirk. So the handle is uh, wrong for a Scottish Dirk. Blades right, but the handle's wrong. Really love this. This one doesn't flow is nicely but it's also hard to argue that it's anything other than a short sword again much as I love this knife even though I didn't design it as such it's hard to call this a tool and not a weapon because just no, it's just almost about the only way I could see using this as a tool is if I'm using it as a slicer to slice a huge roast or ha full ham or something like that where the extra length is just going to make it so much easier to get through uh, without having to and stop and restart your slice. So is it size? Not really. Here's another one. I just dumped a bunch of books on the floor. Oh well. Pick them up a minute. Almost as big as that Scottish Dark I made. Actually, it may be as big. This has a definite cookery style blade. And there are people who are going to jump at the word cookery and automatically say weapon because um, the Gurk British Gurkhas who developed the cookery did indeed use it as a weapon. It wasn't originally designed that way. Um... It was designed to be a field tool. Um, the heavy forward, thicker part of the blade 
is fantastic for chopping through brush and trimming stuff. The recurve of the middle portion of the blade makes it fantastic for slicing uh, vines or ropes or anything else because that curve just pulls whatever it is you're trying to slice right into the cutting edge. Um, the forward hef heft of it makes it fantastic for chopping. Um, just fantastic indeed. But yeah, um, like a lot of people, the Gurkhas saw no reason why they couldn't use their field tools as weapons, especially since something that was designed to chop through tree limbs and heavy brush can chop off an arm. So this one, yeah, we're kind of blurring the uh, line here. Is it a tool or is it a weapon? For me, it's a tool. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a uh, second look video on this blade soon. We'll take it out into the field and start seeing just how well it does at uh, chopping brush and the like. So, where are we here? Truthfully, we haven't gotten anywhere. Um, is a knife a tool or a weapon? In the end, it's all going to come down to you and how you use it. If a cop stops you and ask you why you're carrying that knife and you tell him that well it's for self-defense in case I get attacked dude you just admitted that you're carrying a weapon if a cop stops you and asks you why you're carrying that knife and your answer is well I work in a mail department I have to open up boxes and letters all day or um well, just in case I need to open up a package or uh, trim some something or something along those lines. It's a tool. You've just told the police officer it's a tool. Um, if you tell him, well, well, I'm going hunting later on and I needed a good hunting knife. You're using it to accomplish a task while well, hunting. It's a tool. Um, so yeah, are knives tools or weapons? Point blank, they're both. Which is why things get a little complicated. Now some places get really uptight about this. Um, I know certain members of the Anglican Church in England um, wrote a letter urging for laws that would require all knives made and sold in England to be made without a tip or a point. They called it a point. Their logic is that uh, there is no need in today's world for a knife with a tip and it will make the knives harder to be used as the weapons that they are. Obviously none of these bishops do a lot of cooking um, and they definitely do, don't do any meat cutting or anything like that. I can't even begin to imagine how you're going to move the silver skin from a tenderloin when you're breaking it down if you don't have a point on the tip of your knife. 
but they seem to think that it makes sense. Um, you go to some states. <clears throat> In New York City, um, you cannot have a knife show at all. So a knife like this one that has a pocket clip and leaves part of the knife sticking out leaves you in trouble. The fact that it opens like it does. Um, New York City cops have argued that these are switchblades. There's no spring in it. There's no any mechanism that uh, allows it to be, or excuse me, uh, meets the definition of switchblade according to federal law. But they'll try to argue it is. Yeah, that. I will try to argue that it's a gravity blade. And, well, yeah, it's. You hold it upside down. Gravity will sometimes call it to fall all the way open. They'll argue that if you can open it with a flick of the wrist, it's a gravity blade. I don't buy it. But then again, I sell knives, so I know what the manufacturer's definition of a gravity blade is. Some places will even say that this knife is illegal because the main blade is more than three inches long. Um, they want you to have a knife blade that's less than three inches long. Um, as I say, how you can define this as a weapon and not a tool is beyond me because you can't deploy it quickly. It just, you can't do it. Um, I guess if I wanted to, if once I get a good hold on it, no. No. Uh-uh. No. Can't open it quickly. Can't flick it open. But they're going to call this in the tool, or excuse me, I call this a tool no matter what, because it just doesn't make any sense as a weapon. But they're going to try to insist it is. So long and short of it, yeah, I know I kind of left to hang. Point blank, you're going to have to go with what uh, your local area decides as to whether to treat your knives as weapons or tools. I hope you agree with me that 90% of the knives out there are tools, not weapons, but uh, you know, we have to live in the real world. If you want to help change your local laws, well, um, I'll put a link to uh, Knife Rights down below. Great organization. Uh, they have helped loosen up knife laws tremendously over the past decade and have done a lot of good for knife lovers like myself. I heartily recommend you check them out and I heartily recommend you support them. But that's up to you. In the meantime, I've gone way, way longer than I meant to with this video. But I hope you did get uh, some use out of it. I hope I answered your question to a certain extent, even if I did kind of leave you hanging in the end. For now, I gotta get going, so wish you luck. I'll leave you with a couple videos over here that I think you'll enjoy. Of course, you can always hit the target over here to subscribe. I sure hope you do. You take care, and we'll see you Friday now.